Anderson, after a long walk, is excited to make his return against the very tough Tyler Wolf. Take it away for the measure of his gentlemen. All right, Tyler Wolf, 20 years of age versus Bobby Baker's 25 years. Very similar height, Tyler Wolf 5'8", Bobby Baker 5'9", 153 weigh-in for Tyler Wolf. Bobby Baker came in out the limit, 155, and Bobby Baker has a two-inch reach advantage. Tyler Wolf's wingspan is 67 to Bobby Baker's 69. Take it away, Andy. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the next fight of the evening. An amateur mixed martial arts contest taking place at the lightweight division, scheduled for three rounds, three minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner with an amateur mixed martial arts record of 0 and 1. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall and he weighs in at 153 pounds. From Southie, South Boston, Massachusetts, he's representing Broadway Jiu-Jitsu. Make some noise for Tyler Wolf. And now, standing across the room in the blue corner with the amateur mixed martial arts record of 0 and 2. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, and he went in at 155 pounds. From West Bridgewater, Massachusetts, he is representing Bishop's Boxing. Make some noise for Bobby Baker! And the action begins. The referee in charge of this contest is Tom Sanzo. Clearly the crowd has a favor here. They were uh, gesturing at each other earlier as the uh, tail of the moment. Oh, here they go. Red gloves oh, oh, New gloves for Baker. Wolf coming in with their hands early, trying to change levels. Baker's got an under there. Wolf ankle. looking to snatch the ankle. Good balance by Baker. Gotta get those Interesting under hooks. almost Russian tie there. Double jab by Baker on the break. Ooh, Wolf oh, goes oh, heavy body shot. Nice close body, body shots. shots. Oh, nice close oh, body from Baker. Oh, he went right up the middle. Another body shot. Nice mm. Baker gliding with those long jabs. Very slick. But Wolf looks to be throwing heavy bombs to the body, which will add up. Oh, it's up to the spin here. Now, Wolf is definitely throwing some bombs, and he looks like he's just willing to eat some shots. He just seems like a durable, tough kid. Yeah, he's got a lot of fight in that dog. Baker with a crisp right hand. Eats a body kick, though. And as I say, that same thing for Bobby Baker, too. He's taking some shots, too. Going right back to that body. Baker looks very composed. Going for that inside trip. I've been impressed by how well he's been able to fight the underhooks through on deep takedown attempts from his opponents and maintaining his balance even when a few times I thought he was going down, but then mm -hmm. finally Wolf gets it. Yeah, Bobby was doing a good job of like floating the hips in weird angles to stay his feet, but the wrestling persistence pays dividends for Tyler Wolf, who finds himself on top here. Baker quick to stand back up, staying close to the cage, but Tyler lands a couple good shots there. Staying very active right now. Baker's underhooks have really made a big difference. He's very veteran in the way he slides those in. Much improved from the past that he used to get taken down. Decent, some, finding some runs from the nice body kicks is Baker. He's done it a few times, both legs. Wolf back in, lock, locks the hands together, which often proceeds to dump, but great balance, and yes, it's yeah. dump. Running through the takedown and completing it for a second time is Tyler Wolf. Great drive on his takedowns. Baker's actually showing very advanced hand fighting, both uh, when he's standing up and here blocking the ground and pound. I think that's, again, really big improvement in the grappling department from him. Laces under the leg, that's dangerous, but anyway, I can't complain because he gets back to uh, guard and sitting back up. You see Bobby trying to work off the cage with his back on it, maybe trying to find a way up or rotate that position to get some advantage. And Wolf doing a good job finding spots to be economical some ground down here. Mm. 
taken down to the last couple seconds of the round. And there Ooh. we have it. That's an interesting one to judge. What are you thinking about that? Me? I think that they were pretty even on the feet. Bobby Baker was getting the edge with a piece to get us some nice kicks and I think beating Tyler Wolf to the punches. But then the control time for, for Tyler Wolf might have edged it just for sheer magnitude. He landed some good ground and pound in the spots that he could. Uh, on the feet, I definitely think it leaned towards Bobby Baker, even though Wolf had his moments. And uh, Baker's takedown defense worked for the most part to nullify the wrestling attack of Wolf, but when he was successful, he was dominant. I'm with you 100% on that assessment. And I think Baker was landing slightly cleaner shots, but those two big takedowns and that control and ground upon at the end, that probably is going to steal the round for Tyler Wolf. Very welcome. Seconds out, round two coming right up. This is true about pretty much every fight tonight, but this one has been a barn burner. Round two, set to begin. Cage door is locked, touch the gloves, and we're off. Oh, nice Big uppercut. And a combination forward from Walker. Nice right hand. Oh, is Tyler shot right into that single. And he just ate the right hand, his head snapped back, and he still got in on the hips and finishes the takedown. Yeah, looks like Bobby's trying to bite on a guillotine. Yeah, but he's not on the right side. He's got to get his hips to the other side, and uh, Tyler Wolf doing a good job of keeping his head out of real jeopardy with that choke fight. Yeah, once Tyler's past the side that he has, the guillotine is dead. Might as well no. let it go. Tyler, 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 for an arm triangle here. This is where we commentate like golf commentators. Oh. We gotta stay quiet so they don't hear us and take any advice. I don't think I've nice. ever watched golf. Nice move. Right in front of us, going for that dagger spinning handcuff. Just Tyler oh. Wolf, and he gets it. He's isolating that arm and lands. Pretty sure guys. Baker stayed tough. Baker stayed tough. Baker has the underhook. I wonder if he'll be able to wrestle up with that. Well, he's in a prime spot to stay there. Ooh, great wizard. Go for the roll. Look at Baker this looking for, for a leg. leg Ooh, intriguing. Oh. Wait, but Bobby could be biting on an arm here. No, nope. no, no, no bite on that arm, but he's just trying to scramble and get back to a position where he can start working back up to his feet, landing some short it's punches. It's funny you mentioned the arm because for a moment it looked oh. like a bicep slice, nice. but in MMA you're going to take some shots there. Good buck of the hips. And, and this whole time, Tyler Wolf has just been relentless. Yeah, and it's just floating perfectly to maintain position and finding his opportunities to land ground and pound. Baker now with a shot of his own. Getting more into an open wow, space where this grab oh, oh, this grab oh, might help. He might have something right here, but not with slides out. Baker, great, great scramble here. Baker very active, trying to find opportunities to make space and get up. But Tyler Wolf landed some pretty effective hammer fists at different points in this round. Yeah, Wolf's nice wrestling in top control is uh, definitely making a big difference in this fight, and that seems to be where he's breaking away here. Baker, very active and slick off his back, but it's just really, you can't win a fight off your back in MMA. It's damn hard to do so. Oh, extremely, not impossible, but Tyler Wolf being in full control of this round. Beautiful. Oh, Baker's back to his feet. Tyler so how long? swings back in there on the legs. Back to a shot by Tyler. Got the, the hands, hands together. Hands. Good job. But Baker's close to the cage, so until Wolf pulls him away, Baker always has the chance to stand back up. Yeah, he's got to scoot the hips and post up and, 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 and get him to so got a foot against the cage to start standing. tom has got to find a way to put Bobby on his back here and let him use that cage too much. Bobby might be trying to sneak in a guillotine. Oh, nice arm here. drag there. At least yes. gets him back to the feet almost. Gives him the right back in front of us. Looks like he's... he's oh, they're, they're in a bit of a tangle, tangle there. But... Yeah, I mean, Baker trying to get creative and find a way and an angle to sneak, sneak out the back door. But Tyler Wolf's pressure, his wrestling, his positioning were on point that round. And I like, what I like about Tyler Wolf and what he's doing right now is he's definitely dominating with the wrestling, but he is throwing mean strikes. Mm -hmm. He's not trying to do a lay and pray. He's out there going for the finish as best as he can. Um, you know, it's funny because that round started with Baker landing some 
heavy shots, but Wolf was able to take another round away just by doing his thing, riding that top control and landing some bombs. Yeah, and you know, even though Baker spent most of that fight on his back, and most of the fight thus far on his back, he's still standing, refusing to take the school. You know he's fresh, you know he's got the gas tank, and he very well might need a finish here. I think he is going to need a finish, as you say. The first round is that closer yeah. than we might think, because Baker, I think, got the edge of his striking. But after that round, his reach is very experienced, and I know his coach is telling him he needs to go out there with everything. And especially the difference in body language, I think mentally that's where he's at. And I think his opponent is probably looking to do more of the same, but looking more to survive and not lose that edge. Uh, I want to thank everybody here for letting me comment to you. Thank you so much. One last round. Stick around. Stick around. Finish oh, around. Stick around. Last round. Not a good time, Johnny. Oh, oh, yeah. no. I got to drink some Patron. They touch him up in between. They touch him up before we went third and final round here. Nice head kick from Baker. Nice teeth that looked like it landed. Tyler Wolf. Oh, Tyler with that. Tyler steps back for a split second after that teeth. Oh, wow. Look at the way he just floated to that top position, but Baker able to get that escape. I really think that front kick might have tired Tyler Wolf. Very, very slick right Wow, look here. at Bobby using the cage here. Put all his weight on Tyler. Look how strong Tyler Wolf is to just be able to stand up with that weight on the back and be inching out of this position. But good job sticking with it from Bobby Baker. You know, Bobby's for someone who's primarily a striker, yeah. Baker's really impressed me with his grappling here. Defensively, now offensively. Good cage work, good grip fighting here from both, from both guys. They're both doing what they ought to be doing in this position. And this is the most taxing aspect of mixed martial arts for my money. It certainly yeah. is. Having somebody being on top of you, all that body weight. If you make one slip, you're eating punches like Tyler is right now. But Tyler looks like he could just shake him off. Two hooks in now for Bobby Baker. This is dominant, dominant positioning here. And he's getting all of the punches off here. So this is a complete tie turn from round two. It is. I, I really think that Baker's corner told him that he needs to come out hot for the finish and yeah. leave it all out there. Yeah. Go for both. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's great coaching advice. And he's mm -hmm. working. He's got his back. He's got Tyler's back. Beautiful ground. Oh, 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 That's the thing when you're playing. Tyler stood up and made him lose balance, but he's staying on top of Bobby Baker. Nice oh, little fist. Keep working. Wow, Tyler Wolf is as tough as they make him. He's just eating them punches just to get up. Still biting on that single and they'll try to bite for a double, but he doesn't have his hands clasped. And now he does. Gains a class under the, under the hips. Good position for Tyler Wolf here. Who oh, is looking for Bobby to give up that underhook. Because that was what, what could have kept him from getting taken down. It's funny because you have to balance oh, yes. striking with yeah, keeping position. Yeah. And then Tyler ends up on top here. I mean, a lot of work to put in if he wants to almost make this a 10-9 round, honestly, because it was all Bobby Baker from the start. Back take, vicious ground and pound. Now Tyler Wolf trying to get back into this round. But with only 40 seconds left, the top position, 30 seconds left. He's going to make the top position in 40 seconds. I don't know if he can win this round. Nice hammer fist from the bottom, and I don't care what anybody says. It sucks getting caught by those. You can oh, see damage time. from the bottom. Absolutely. Especially Bobby, who's so active from, the, from his back. The, the thing, however, is Tyler doesn't have to win this round. He just needs to survive it. He's You're probably going to end up with the next Very curious because now round one is a huge factor. Is how do you score that as a judge? As we go to the scorecards yeah. for the first time tonight, all wow. finishes. Tyler Wolf and Bobby Baker go the distance. Round two. Stellar performance from both. Clearly Tyler Wolf in round two. Had the dominant control on the ground and pound for the entirety of the round. Round three, clearly Bobby Baker. Got the back percent. take, ground and pound submission attempts, ferocious, ferocious punches in all levels of the grappling. Round one's a swing round. Yeah, we gotta see what they say for round one. And this is the pivotal part of bringing out so they get to be the first one. No. Oh man, I'm jealous. <laughs> but yeah, keep it going. He's gonna get that on. That scorecard, Mike. Mike the Silver. He's on. 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 He's on.
great having you here, buddy. Hey, thank I'm you a so super much. fan. Oh, man. It's an honor to be right here. It's an honor to be right next to you, honestly. Every time I see you, you make me blush. You know? I hope, like what we were saying off there earlier, I hope maybe a little Muay Thai, maybe a little something, something. Anything for you, man. Anything hey, for you. So. to get to find out who wins first. But here comes Johnny to take over me. And uh, thank you guys for having me. Always a pleasure. Back at and it. here comes Johnny Cupcakes to take over. Thank you guys. Have a great night. With scores of 29-28 across the board, we have your winner by unanimous decision.